Hey guys, Maka here, Track Central favorites number 31. Today we're doing a track by Joss Nederland. I assume he's Spanish or something and it's pronounced Joss Nederland. Either way, this track's called Real Trials Trial Track. Um, very simple title. I love this track. It is uh, quite simple in terms of its physics, dynamics, and whatnot. It is a straight, pure trials track. There's no physics, no moving parts. There's no crazy like lights in the background, no like spaceships. It's literally just you, your bike on a mountain with a bunch of crap on it. Um, it has like 6,000 downloads as of mid-April. I believe it was made near the end of March. Um, I am eighth on the leaderboard, surprisingly. I make it look pretty easy. It is on the difficult side, to be completely honest. I get two faults near the very, very end of the track. It's quite a lengthy track. I do it in about four minutes. I think the fastest time is about three minutes. And uh, on average, you're probably looking at five, six, or seven minutes. Um, I really did enjoy this track. It's very, very technical. It's only a hard track, so there's no ninja, you know, skills necessary here. You can do it if you're just like a, a good rider and you don't have those like unnecessary crazy backwards flip skills like they do on a lot of the ninja tracks. I really enjoyed this track. Very simple, very technical. A lot of throttle control. If you look at the right trigger on the screen there, you can see I'm like feathering it and tapping it a lot. There's a lot of like leaning and I really like these type of tracks. Um, you can and because it is so long, you can redo it like multiple times to try to improve. Um, so as I said, I got two faults, four minutes, five seconds, eighth on the leaderboard. Pretty proud of that. Challenge anyone um, to beat that. And as I promised in uh, Track Center Favorites number 29, which was Activate, I uh, said if anyone was able to beat me and uh, prove it, that I'd give them a shout out. So shout out to T675 Sparky, who did actually beat me on that track, um, unfortunately for me. Uh, so congrats to him. He did a really good job on that track. Uh, quite a difficult track to be completely honest And again, if anyone does decide to try to beat me on this, let me know So I hope you guys do enjoy this track I'm probably just gonna let some of the in-game audio run for a little bit of the end here as it is a really long track And there's not much to say that I haven't already said as you can obviously obviously see and tell by the title it's made to kind of be designed as if uh, trials tracks were in real life um, so you just have like boxes and and barrels and tires and all of them are set in an outdoor uh, kind of mountain environment. There are a few objects that like obviously don't really make sense like the huge jumps onto stones and like upside down cars. But I still really like the touch of the kind of I guess you would call it realism. Not necessarily realistic but you know you guys know what I mean for sure. I like the simplicity of it and I love the length of it. So all of that gives it a big thumbs up for me. I played this track a lot. I actually did really well on my first ever run. I think I got like eight and it took me a really long time to get down to two um, faults. I feel like I had one more thing to say to you guys, but I can't remember it at the moment. Um, oh, and then I guess another thing is I did it in four minutes, five seconds, but as you see, I'm going for a no fault type run. So a lot of the Obstacles are taking me a long long time. I could probably if I really really wanted to like try really hard I could probably get my time down to like 330 if I got no falter and a good run in but Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always comment like subscribe uh, This is one of those series. I always like to revisit, but I never know if people are still watching it So any feedback is always loved especially if you do like the series and you want to see it kind of continue on in the future Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace